just about ready to roll here and towing the slab here Dane Dunning what should we keep an eye on here well this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today digging in Luis Arias that one finds the zone so we're underway on a day oh made for baseball the 4th of July. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. One ball, one strike. Soft contact in the air. Takes it in for the out. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jerickson Profar. And he's leading him in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure, and he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base, and they get big. They feel like, all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow, he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. One out, base is empty. Foul ball there. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. That pitch just misses the inside corner, and the count is even two and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two away down. The second baseman, Jake. Cronenworth. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Cronenworth now at the plate. This has been a career year for him when it comes to driving in runs. Sweet. And the slider catches the zone. Well, he had a pretty oh, good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Two outs, base is empty. Hit on the ground to the foul right ball. side. And foul ball. Two down, nobody on. That one, one not two. close. It's a ball and two strikes. Always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at Globe Life Field. And towing the slab, Michael King. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Here's the veteran second baseman, Marcus Simeon. And the pitch. And it skips in the dirt. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. And a pitch. 
Missed with a changeup, and that's ball two. That one missing inside. And fires in a fastball at 95. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. Right-hander kicks, deals, and that's ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. Good chase that time. Simeon on at first. Nobody out. And there's a the ball. Two will count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. 2-0 the count. Here it comes. Yeah. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. And nope, another that's ball. Low, that's ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Simeon on the way to third. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. And it's second and third with nobody out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And now it's going to be Josh Smith. Golden opportunity right here. And That's takes ball. low for ball one. One and oh. The pitch just no, missed. Miss. Next ball. one misses, and that's ball three. Adolis Garcia up next. Real down. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Hammer put the extra bases. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate, and they take a two-run lead. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Nicely done. Brings home two. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Runner in scoring position. No outs. And next is the designated hitter, Adolis Garcia. Swing and a foul straight back. He deals. Popped up first base side. Arise has it sized up. He's got it. Runner tags it second. In there oh, safely. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. 
How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two nope. strikes, oh. I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Runner on at third, one gone. Just no, off the that's inside the edge. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that should be extra bases. He pulls into second as a run scores. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. One out, runner at second. Up next for the Rangers, Robbie Grossman. Pitch misses Whoa, inside, it. and it's 1 0. King, he's kind of interesting. You know, when you dig into the tendencies, he does a good job of limiting the hits, but the walks continue to be a problem. Kicks and fires. Misses oh. inside. 2 and 0. Oh. Well, he's got such nasty stuff that I think, you know, hitters, they're just not as willing to try to get something because it's hard to square them up. Oh, yeah. But when you have pitches that are ending up just outside the strike zone, until they get called for strikes, hitters are not going to pull the trigger. The next that's offering well, misses. Three and one. You know, against a guy like this, I'm looking for something straight. I'm not going to be successful hitting anything that's got movement on it. I've got to look Take for a four-seamer and try to get it up in the zone. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. His that ability to draw that. walks that has been something me. that's no, been part that of his yo. career since day one. No. So first and second with one gone. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Yeah. That clips a corner. And he will one. And a foul ball. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Kim. One. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. Three runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left. We head to the second in Arlington. It's the Rangers three. And the Padres nothing. Top of the second, go, and now here's Diego. the veteran DH, Manny Machado. Manny Machado. Dunning, the tall righty, 29 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That That's misses the, the zone, and the count is one and one. one and Our one. umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. Swings through that one for strike two. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because oh. pitchers got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitters got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Here's Donovan Solano. He's been a great free agent side. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about oh. the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Low, right there to make the grab. Two down. That is it. 
the center fielder, number three. Here's the kid, Jackson Merrill. His first major league hit happened in Korea during the Seoul series with the Padres. Nearly 7,000 miles away from his hometown of Baltimore. He had to travel across the world for his first career hit, but I think that makes it even more special, Boo. What a cool moment that was for him. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. one, and one. The Padres trailing by three here at the top of the second. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. And two another and ball. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The key there, tracking the baseball all the way back through the hitting zone, allows you to hit a ball right back up the box like that. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. Now fly ball to right center. Grossman makes the grab, and that's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rangers three and the Padres nothing. Back in Arlington, bottom go half of Rangers. inning number two. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The right-hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Next offering is in for a strike. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Got him looking. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Derek Hill stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, not close. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. One down, base is empty. Right. Out to short, Kim. Throws across the diamond, two up, two down. Now back the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. So the Rangers' batting order turns over, and now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Marcus Simeon. The walk and a run scored his first time. That misses, no, and that's ball one. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Right. Fastball for a strike. Right. And now one and two. The strong one, two. second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two outs. He goes down looking. And the Rangers set down in order. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Now here is Brett Sullivan. Dunning back to work. Clicks the corner. Going one. Yeah, 
And the pitch is outside, ball one. Righty delivers. Not two close with that one. And it's two and one. Just oh. missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That's yeah. in there. Three and two now. Down and full. Ripped to short. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting nine. The right fielder. Bryce. So digging in, Johnson. Bryce Johnson. Right Wait. through there for ah. a strike. Now well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep into counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. The Rangers leading by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And a pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Lankford on his way over. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two away. The first baseman, number four. Luis Arise Luis stands in. Arias. 0 for 1 so far. Let's go, and downstairs. Oh. Pitch That's misses. Now 2 and 0. Oh. Two down, nobody on. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Over to first. That's an and that is the inning. Nothing across here this half. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rangers three and the Padres nothing. Set for the bottom of the go. third, the so Rangers. now it's Corey Seager. Third baseman. Lots of players Corey. perform better at home, and this batter Seager. is no exception. Might be the crowd or the familiar surroundings, but he's typically better in this environment. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Sullivan drifts towards it, and that's a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Just that missed. Is, that's a ball. One ball, one strike. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. That one is gone. Corey Seager goes deep. And they add a run. It's 4 nothing. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win well a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here All right, nice job. so next to hit for Texas Josh Smith doubled in his first A.B. outside Ball. Ball one. And a pitch. Yeah. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the last half of the third. Backed off the plate that time. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Right 
riding to the play and yeah. it's even up. Rips that one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Now batting. The designated hitter. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter. Adolis Garcia. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Hard hit left side. Sends it across to first and Garcia is out. Adrian Morahone gets the call from the pen. And we all know about Adrian his slider. It's just Morihone. filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle Ball. but I still think it's a dangerous pitch one, don't want to do it again the lefty ready and a 1 1 and that one lifted in the air center field Merrill under it and that is that Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run it's now a four nothing ball game back after this on the show And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Out of the fourth. The now it's the switch 10. hitting outfielder. Jerickson Profar. Profar. And he deals. Oh, no he doesn't ball. get the call. Ball one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Lankford pulls that one down. And a quick out number one. Second base. Jake now here's Jake Cronenworth caught looking his first time up Cronenworth a seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan where he was a two way guy and in fact the Rays used him that way it hard but foul off to the left one down base is empty so a foul ball makes it one and two. Misses nope. just ball. off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Two, two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, well, there he gets the slider in on his hands and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Machado in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs. And down on strikes. 
And it's a three up, three down inning. Padres down in order. They trail it here, four nothing. Back at Globe Life Field, bottom of the fourth. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Robbie Grossman. As the lefty gets to work. Grossman checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. The pitch. Not one even one. close there. Yeah, the count even one and one. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. He hit into a double play his first time up. Here we go, Come on, Texas, let's go. Brown ball to the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Now Just kept it simple. Pepper. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim, struck out looking in his first at bat. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It's 0-1. And he pumps in a strike. Look out for the play. That one way inside. Man at first, one away. Next pitch That's is ball. downstairs. Well, he might have to two look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And that's the strikeout looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Oh, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for yeah, something right. else, anything but the breaking yeah. ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it and kind of a gift at a two strike count but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Hill the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh and one. That one finds the zone and it's 0 and two low off of first with two away. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Johnson raging back towards the wall. And he brings it in on the warning track. Rangers lead one. They lead 4 nothing. New inning getting started. At the batter now, Donovan Solano. Donovan Solano, 36 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. And here it comes. There's a strike. You know, these Padres, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Tapped softly on the ground. Simeon throws to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. And he's already singled in this game. Hard ground ball based now. So a man aboard now with one away. Dominant performance for him today, Boog. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And 
he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And now the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim, fly to right his first time. Swing and a miss. And that is strike oh one. The Rangers leading by four, and we're at the top of the fifth. Bounce to the right. On a second, they get one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. It's the Rangers four, and the Padres nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Now Marcus, a career high 45 homers in 2021 with the Blue Jays. He parlayed that Dennis, into a seven year free agent deal with the Rangers. One ball, Action no in the pen down there. Jeremiah Estrada, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Knock right field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So, pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. That one fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Step off throw to first. And he's back in easily. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Profar has a beat on it. Profar pulls it down. The batter number eight. Shortstop. Josh Smith. Man at first. Now it's going to be Josh Smith. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. Let's go, Texas. The shortstop takes a ball. Simeon over at first with one away. Simeon runs. Hit in the air, center field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's two down. So, a man aboard, Adolis Garcia will hit next. Garcia. On the ground to third, Solano zips it to first, and Garcia is out. That's the inning. One left for Texas, but they lead it four to nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Now here is Brett Sullivan. Brett Sullivan. Dunning back to work. Swing and this one's bounced on the ground. Simeon. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. Now He's been in attack mode Wait, since the very start. Right. Stepping in for San Diego, Bryce Johnson. He's 0 for 1. That missed by a lot. And that is ball one. The Padres down by four. And we're the top half of the sixth. One down, base is empty. 
on the ground. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Up now the Padre leadoff man, Luis Arias. That's down and in. To short, could be two. On to Simeon. And it's a double play to end the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Rangers four and the Padres nothing. Pitching change here, Jeremiah Estrada. He's pitching on two days rest. Jeremiah. Estrada. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Langford, one for two. The left fielder, Wyatt Langford. The pitch. This one in the air, right field. Settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball the game. right fielder, number four, Robbie. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. Just the off ball. the outside edge, and it's one to know. Estrada, he's one of those guys that seems like he's out there to do just one thing, and that's strike people out. And the 1 0. And another oh, ball. Down. Movement in the bullpen. A lefty up and throwing out there. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And it is two and one. He looks frustrated when a guy puts a ball in play. And that's what you're doing. You're coming in, putting out a fire, high leverage situation. And with his kind of stuff, everyone expects him to strike out hitters. Next one in the dirt. When you think about building a bullpen, is strikeout rate one of the main things you're looking at? Absolutely. And when you're talking about working from the back forward, those last three yeah. innings are the toughest ones of the ball game. Full count. Payoff pitch. And that one hammered. That ball's carrying. Got all of that one. A solo shot. His second of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's five zip. The count was full, but he was ready to swing it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So one out, nobody on. Next up for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. First no, pitch that miss, just misses. Right. And a good eye there. That one oh. missed, now 3 and 0. Oh. 3 0. Oh. In yeah. there at the knees. Two. Fastball for a strike. We got a full count. Back to work, 3 2 now. Set down on strikes. 
throws him with a backdoor slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Heim stands in now and watches strike one. Oh one. And a swing and a miss. Oh two. Swings and misses. That's the third out. Inning over. Texas extends the lead with the solo shot. And the lead is now 5 nothing. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in Arlington, we go to the top of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Jerickson Profar. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball nope. one there. Oh. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Strike. Close, no, but missed. called the ball. Yeah, that's ball two. Bounce to third. Seeger. Fires across the diamond, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. At the play, Jake Cronenworth, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. There's the strike at the knees. The Rangers leading by five here at the top half of inning number seven. Outside Ball. low, two and one. Two one. To the right side, low. Oh. Steps on the bag and two away to start the seventh. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's Manny Machado. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. And we're back. Here's the center fielder, Derek Hill. And a pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. Profar makes the grab one down. The batter, number two, second baseman. Back to the top of the lineup. Here is Marcus Simeon. That yeah. one's in there, and that's strike one. Just uh -uh. off oh. the outside edge. One and one. Next two offering two. down in the dirt. This one chopped up the middle. Cronenworth throws on to first. And Simeon is out. The third baseman, number five, Corey. Seeger stands Seager. in now. 
He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. The pitch. This is no, off no. the plate, and it's one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ah. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers as they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Leading off, Donovan Solano. The why to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Dunning into his eighth inning of work Singy, he's been good yeah he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game if you're going to get to him you get to him early they didn't do that today we'll see what happens as this finishes and out number one on the ground that at bat is a positive sign even though it probably doesn't feel like it he hit the ball hard but it doesn't always work out in your favor sometimes a defender is there to make a play Merrill batting with one down takes a strike double barreled action in the bullpen Andrew Heaney the veteran southpaw is getting ready to come on if needed Robertson a right hander loosening up as well good eye on that spot pitch count in great shape it seems you might have a chance to finish it Right hander kicks deals. And That's another ball. ball. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Lankford makes his way towards it, snags it on the run. Out number two. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. There's a high chopper. Smith tosses to first. That ends the frame. Totally dominant on the mound as he's through eight without surrendering a run. It's the Rangers five and the Padres nothing. Angel De Los Santos takes over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. 3 4 5 due up for the home team. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. De Los Santos, a 6-3 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. To first, and that's one away as the now leadoff that, man is out in the eighth. Adolis Garcia. Next is the designated hitter, Adolis Garcia. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Number 39, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Base is empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. 
And that's Watch outside. A wind in the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal that movement, but most no of the good ones have both no vertical yet. depth and that horizontal oh movement, God. and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Langford hey, in the box now. No balls and a strike. That yeah. one called a strike, and it's 0-2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Bounce to the left side. Solano. The throw to first. Rangers go down in order. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Back in Arlington, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brett Sullivan, the right-hander back to work. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. One out. And oh. another ball. Kicks and deals. Right yeah, through there for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Yeah. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's Thank strike you. two. Kicks and fires. That to right. Sizes this one up. And there's one away. Up next for the Padres. Next for the Padres, Bryce Johnson. Johnson. Missed with a changeup. One and oh. One ball, no strike. The Rangers leading by five here at the top of the ninth. That's a laser base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. All over that one right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next to hit, Luis Arias. Line drive. Oh, he gloves it. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Profar in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Next oh, offering no. is down low. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it That's out. This is something Outside. about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Two outs. That one fouled off. Two and two. Righty delivers. And that's Ball. outside. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. 
But what's amazing that he's just now about to throw his 100th pitch. I mean, that's something that he can be really proud of when this thing's over. Broken bat, and it's popped up. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers get a shutout on the mound. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.